Hey guys, it's Melanie. So I am on a little bit of a recording roll today because Stella is taking her nap and I'm going to take advantage. <laughs> um, so I was just at Costco the other day and they have some new makeup out from a brand that I've never heard about and sorry, I'm just reaching under here to grab the box. And um, one of the things that I saw was this Perfect Palette Professional Neutral Eye Palette. So the box, of course, is massive because it's Costco packaging. Um, but this is by Patty Dubroff, and apparently she's a world-renowned celebrity makeup artist. I've never heard of her. Um, what drew me in to this particular palette was that um, they claimed to be a velvety, smooth, really pigmented, um, like rich uh, eyeshadows. So, you know, I mean, for me, my favorite eyeshadows are definitely first Lorac, second Urban Decay. Um, so it's always nice if you can find a cheaper alternative, um, if you can. If not, I'm more than happy to pay a little bit more to get a better quality product. But this was only $17.99, so I figured it was worth a trial, uh, a try. And um, since it's Costco, if I really didn't like it, I knew that I could just totally take it back. So they're awesome with returns. Um, so apparently this world-renowned celebrity makeup artist, Patty Dubroff, is an icon in the beauty industry. And um, she really prides herself on pinpointing a woman's inner beauty, beauty and accentuating it through makeup. So anyway, uh, let me show you guys what the actual palette looks like. Okay, so remember, here's the packaging. Here's the palette. Excessive, right? This is it. 12 eyeshadows. <laughs> so packaging is nice. It's just cardboard, um, very smooth. It's not rubberized or anything. It's pretty. Um, there are 12 eyeshadows in here. And again, this is a neutral eye palette. Um, the total weight is 20 grams. And there's also an eyeliner pencil in here. And there is a website which I will link down below. It's pattydurphoffbeauty.com. Dubroff. Dubroff. I'm like butchering this poor woman's name. Sorry. Um, this is made in China. I don't know. I don't know that I care about that. I probably should. There you guys go. It's made in China. Um, so this is what you get. This reminded me very much of one of the Stila palettes. I can't remember which one it is. Um, I think it's the In the Light palette. That might be totally wrong. But it's one of the Stila palettes. So I used this a few times and tried some of the different colors. And um, I also tried this liner. I will say that the liner... Um, not long wearing, but, and it's a bitch to get out of here. So you've got like this little tab thing that just totally doesn't work. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it out for the review here. Uh, I don't have anything to get it out with. Oh, <laughs> just nicked the eyeshadow. Ta-da! Um... C minus for, uh, it comes with a little sharpener at the end, so you can sharpen your pencil again. Uh, C minus for uh, packaging, because that thing is really wedged in there. So this is called Bittersweet. It, it, it does glide on really nicely, so that was just a really quick, like, yeah. I mean, you can see it's very soft. Uh, not super long wearing on my super oily eyelids, uh, and I did use a primer, and even then it just kind of... I will say though, I was working a wedding and it was like 90 degrees and it was like high pressure, high stakes wedding and it could have just been the fact that like I was overheated <laughs> and running around like crazy. So for what it's worth, for normal wear, it's probably okay. Um, so these are the colors. Uh, top row, um, there are definitely at least one, two, three, four, five four mattes, sorry, five mattes, and the rest are uh, shimmer. Actually, this whole top row, this wood rose just looks like it has shimmer in it, but I think it's actually matte. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be matte. So the entire top row are mattes, the entire bottom rows, row, row, the entire bottom row is shimmer, 
Um, this is the color Wood Rose. And um, quality wise, there you go. You can kind of see not really all that pigmented. I mean, pretty, it's a pretty color. Um, but I would definitely call this drugstore quality. This is just what I've come to expect from a lot of drugstore eyeshadows. So this is really, and this is not as great as I expected it to be. Um, the color right underneath it is called Henna, and you guys can see I'm, I'm really rubbing on here. And what happens is the shadow, like, balls up. Can you see that, like, chunk right there? That is actually an entire, like, chunk of eyeshadow, if that makes any kind of sense. So there you go. Oh, there's that little ball of... It's a really pretty color, but again, not super pigmented and um, kind of chalky. Uh, there you go. They, they look pretty like that, um, but this does not translate onto your eyes at all, even when you use your fingers to apply the product. Um, ooh, look, that eyeliner just completely wiped off. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> so I, it probably wasn't like the heat and humidity and my stress that caused it to fly off of there. Um, let me show you guys a few more swatches. This is the color gla Glace. Glass? Glace? I don't know what a glace is. Again, this one also does that kind of chunk. Do you see that entire like mountain of product right there? It's not that my like fingertips are like all weird. There you go. Again, a pretty color. A little bit more pigmented than the other two. Um, here is that matte called Bare. It's just a matte white. Really chalky. Um, what about, let's see, Raven. You would think that this would be really like dark and pigmented. It's really not. It's super, super chalky. So that's what that looks like. And then here is the that white just disappears so I mean you get what you pay for it was $17.99 um, I don't think I'm gonna keep it I have so many eyeshadow palettes and this is not one that I'm gonna be reaching for um, I do think however if you were buying this for like a 16 year old or you know someone who's just starting out with makeup and just wants like a fun palette to play around with I think that this is perfect for that however if you are used to really nice pigmented rich um, higher end formulations when it comes to eyeshadow I think you would probably be disappointed in this it does have a really nice you know like tutorial up on the top there there's no mirror or anything anywhere so um, but you have the nice tutorial up there um, I can't imagine anyone actually creating this look with these powdery eyeshadows but um, maybe you can and I definitely use primer I always use primer I have to but um, yeah for me this just wasn't something that um, here's that like goldy color it's called praline this just wasn't something that like was a standout product for me it's pretty but it's so chalky they're just not very smooth so yeah I think this is totally gonna go back but I knew a lot of people probably were seeing this at Costco and were maybe intrigued by it so I just kind of wanted to give you my two cents on it um, Again, if you have a younger person just starting out with makeup and you want to get them kind of a fun palette to play around with and you think neutrals would be great, I think this is great. Um, but for somebody who, you know, is a little bit more of a eyeshadow connoisseur, I don't think that they would get much out of this. And there are no applicators, there's no sponge tip, there's no brushes, there's nothing else that comes with this. So, um, anyway good try <laughs> Costco on this one and uh, Patty but um, you know if, if this would have really uh, 
like been as, along the same lines as quality as like Urban Decay and you know the Lorac I would have been like oh my god I'm gonna buy like eight just to have as backups because they're so inexpensive but absolutely not now it's gonna go back so next time I go to Costco this giant box <laughs> it's gonna go back with it so anyway if you guys have any questions leave me a comment below I'm gonna go wash my hands and um eat some lunch oh my god it's like 12 30 what happened to the day um anyway I hope that everybody is having a fantastic Monday and again if you have any questions about this particular palette leave me a comment down below what I'm wearing on my face and my eyes today like did not come from this palette so it came from um something else that I will share with you tomorrow so um anyway have a great day see you guys soon bye